Hey there, uh, my name is Joe. I live in an East Rockaway, and, uh, it's a small town in Long Island, New York. What I'm doing is uh, trying to send a message to any YouTube viewers. Because uh, I'm a person who's trying to move on with my life, and the problem is that when you aren't doing some when you're doing something called online dating it could uh it can cause it could be successful it's basically a hit or miss thing but it may work out to those who are not comfortable of going to uh meet people in public but also it it can cause depression if you talk to the wrong person like Another thing it can also do is scam you. And I've been scammed a lot of times online. First, I started a site called Plenty of Fish. There were a couple of girls who asked me to go on a site, on a link. And it turns out to be a cam web of sexual stuff. And all they wanted is money. To pay the debit cards to the government account, my personal information, this and that. But... I'm buying that. They're not asking for love. They're asking for money. I'm also, uh, there was this girl who I reached on Plenty of Fish. She was out in Suffolk County, even though she doesn't drive. But uh, I originally thought that she was uh, going to be my girl. And then couple times she said we're on the phone talking she says she'll call me back because she's got to play with herself and this and that and one day she called me and she said that uh that she she said what she said as an excuse to not talk to me my heart just broke at the time you know how it feels when someone who says they love you breaks your heart they call you babe over the phone and then they get the pleasure out of playing with your emotions it's never a good feeling I got so I got so depressed and I felt like that I'm not good enough for anyone until I went on a different site called OKCupid there was a girl who lived a lot closer who lived like five miles away goes to the same college my sister goes to we had a lot we have a lot in common and then, just a few days after we started talking, she says that I'll be your friend, nothing more. The bottom line is, I don't want to keep dealing with meeting up girls saying that they were, they were interested in me, they let her talk to me, and at the end of the day, they say the complete opposite. It could take a huge toll on your life. It could be a huge distraction. As you can see right now, I'm feeling down. Because I can't get this out of my head. First... A couple, two weeks ago, the first girl, then the girl recently, just a couple days back, broke my heart. That's, that's the problem. You know, it could really, you really do some damage. You really take the whole, take that, takes life out of you. I always kept saying to myself that 
that I have to pay the price just for showing love. Like, I'm the one that's getting hurt. It's like, it's like, why doesn't anybody understand who I am or what I want? Like, like, this is not, this is no pity game. I'm trying to send a message to anybody who goes up by any sites involves dating and has somebody break your heart. I'm warning you, it can cause depression like I am right now. I do have to take medication every day on a daily basis as of now so I can help feel calm during my daily routine. And I'm home asking like, to have someone reach out to me and, and, and understand. I am in a lot of pain right now. And I thought that it would be ten times better if I had someone who was truthful and honest. Nobody that's going to lie. Nobody that's going to be mean. I can't afford that and have that again in my life. Not once, but twice it's happened to me can't do this a third time so please anybody who's watching this say something say like spread the awareness out to let anyone's heart get broken again even though it's beyond our control it's too painful Like, I'm not giving up. I'm still going online dating. To at least find one person. All I need is one. Around my age. Around my culture. Just um, um, my interests. So, thanks for watching on Joseph Ballard on YouTube. And I hope you understand.